Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 58 of my storyline playthrough. And I was trying to do the ice fishing gamma. And here, let's just uh, show this off, right? Sit down. I have a fishing rod in my hand. Cannot cast. I uh, went on the forums for Ark and uh, yeah, it, that quest is broken right now in, in single player. Because Ark decided that everything had to be different between single player and multiplayer, all that fun stuff. So it's like, fine, be that way. I need to get resources though. And there's really no way just to like cancel the quest after you started it, so. At least not that I've seen so far. Mission. Oh, hey, cool. I can just do it that way. Come on, let me freaking exit out of here. Thank you. All right. Okay, yeah, you get a little bit of wooden thatch out of those, and they turn all funky when you break them. I got the the um, difficulty fixed, I think. Those are just bushes? Okay. And I went ahead and did a dino wipe. So everything should be difficulty 12 where it belongs. And how are we doing on wood now? We have 1,000 wood, 500 thatch. We got like 600 stone. And there we go. I'm thinking, yeah, probably not setting up a my main base in this area. But I do want to look around a little bit here first. Hello, oil rock. I'm still not seeing a lot of it's taking the world a what a, a bit to repopulate, honestly. Oh, metal. Yeah, that's work. Didn't really have a whole lot of metal, so. Did I bring my drill with? I did not. Okay. So for steampunk stuff, I'm going to have to start from scratch. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and grab some flint while we're at it here, too. I do love this pick, though. This pick is awesome. All right, and hi. Oh, that's regular stone. I thought that was a uh, oil rock. Hmm. So where is everything at now? Because it was taking a while to spawn it, but uh, it's been. A few minutes and there's literally nothing around here. Huh. Yeah, it must be taking quite a while to to get all the critters back up and running. All right. Well, one thing I noticed too at nighttime. The glitches are really easy to find. They all have like a purple beam coming off of them like this. And it, it stands out in the dark. Yeah, that's it. You can thank or blame survivor 69Y4421 for that glitch. She liked making structures. Well, she was obsessed, if I'm being honest. She somehow made a building with a corridor where two left turns equal a right turn. Yes, 90 degree turns. No, I don't know how that's possible. I reckon that's why it made a glitch. Well, that sounds like a fun building, you know, experience right there. All right, and... Okay. So, I'm thinking ocean biome. If nothing else, then it's gonna be at least like the most temperate climate. And I do like the water in Ark. So. Oops. 
Alright, well. You know, one thing I realized too is I saw like no beehives in this biome before the, the dino wipe. Which beehives will go away whenever you do a dino wipe. So, not like there's going to be any around right now, but. Well, found the world border. And so I'm thinking that's probably going to be like a swamp biome ish kind of thing. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and talk to Helena. Where the hell she's at? There we go. Hey, um. Teleportation. Let us go to. Let's go to the ocean for now. Really? Okay, because there's one more step to it. Uh, let's go ocean Prepare south, I guess. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's quite a bit bigger ring than I thought it was. Okay. When I saw the circle first show up, I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to take my Arca monster with, but, uh, no, we are. And we are in basically the loading screen. <laughs> and lag spike, because, well, probably because it's the first time I've ever been to this biome. So, there it goes. Teleporting always makes me a bit dizzy. Mm, really? I have to keep that in mind. Also, we got salt. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> I landed right next to Colobarinkus. Okay. All right, you gonna come after me? All right, now I don't think any of these islands, yeah, this is a tiny one, look at this, uh, have a way, you know, up from, you know, the, rephrase. I don't think you can get back up on the islands after, if you fall in the water. I think you're kinda stuck. Also, palm trees. All right. So, in that case, uh, Helena, where are you? Hey, quit. You're moving. <laughs> you. Hey. Excuse you. There we go. Quit being so shy. Let's go north. Let's see if there's, because, I mean, I could build here, but A, it's pretty broken up up here, and uh, it's kind of small. <laughs> Just a little on the tiny side. Oh, that is weird. My red panda doesn't show up in that screen. Teleporting always <laughs> makes me a bit dizzy. So, it's just like my head was not like attached to my shoulders anymore. All right, and this one's about the same, isn't it? So, yeah, that's uh, not ideal now, is it? Um... Oh, hey, there's a beach over there. Let's see, I don't have any bullets for this, but I can still zoom. All right. Hey, Arca Prime. Let's do something stupid. Let's go for a swim. Well, the coelacanth are spawning in. That's good news. Definitely need to get some sort of water tame going soon. Oh, there's a glitch over there. Oh, there's a Hespornis. 
Hey, come here, little buddy. Thank you for the, uh, the polymer. Oh, there's a Bazillasaur over there. Cool, look at that. Stuck in the wall. I don't think I've ever actually tamed a Bazillasaurus. They just never really struck me as a decent water mount. They're, they got a couple benefits, but they're slow, and they are, uh, they're damage soakers is what they are. Kind of sort of makes them not as ideal, really, when you get down to it. I mean, they can eventually kill everything, but they're they're just so slow. Of course, you know, so is an Arca monster in the water, because this is a desert creature, so... Just realized, I have no oxygen cage. On my character. I'm not wearing a scuba tank or anything, but here's going to be the fun part. As soon as I hop off Arca Prime, <laughs> bobs right to the surface. Okay. Yeah, I should have looked around a bit more first. Can I have my uh, spear bolts back, please? Okay. I got a single raw prime fish out of that. Yes! Sometimes it's the most innocent things that can cause a glitch. You ever notice how it doesn't make any sound when you crack your knuckles in the simulation? Well, Survivor 799K3B1 noticed. He kept cracking his knuckles, trying to get the sound he was expecting from real life. Turns out that cracking your knuckles too much won't give you arthritis, but it will glitch the system if you're persistent. Well, that's odd. Cracking your knuckles causes glitches. Hmm. Uh, this is... A lot better ocean environment than, than the original map, that's for sure, certain. I'm liking this quite a bit more. Oh, hey, there's a manta over there. Nice, leisurely pace, you know, through the water here. Yeah, I need a water tamer badly. That's why I'm here, too, is I want to get a water tamer if I can. Shouldn't be all that hard. I'm in a mission area now, too. Great. I was thinking about building over here, but uh, if it's a mission area, I won't be able to. And my Arca monster is still actually kind of hurt, mainly from fall damage. When you get down to it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, here's hoping that the missionary doesn't extend over here to this cliff. Because if I'm going to have to build like a platform or something like that, then this might not be the worst place to start off with that. Because the one spot where there was a beach, it was there was no beach. I mean, you could get up on dry land, but it was just... There was no room when you got up there. And I just left the mission area, so it's literally right where I wanted to build. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, well, I mean, that's the thing, right? Well, there's another Basilosaurus. That's uh, probably a Chronosaur over there. And those are zappy eels, electrophores. Who are, there we go. I was gonna say they're ignoring me, but not really. We 
What'd you drop? Okay, why, why would you have berries in the ocean? These are questions I ask myself. Actually, right here would be pretty good, except for the fact that eels spawned here, but I think they're going to spawn just about anywhere. All right, uh, wood foundations, please. Can I get, like, uh, that's the stone ones, wood. Uh, can I get, like, six for now? Actually, I've already got the stuff. I can craft three. Fiber, okay. Yeah, I didn't really get a lot of fiber, did I? Because I can actually build, like, right there. <sighs> right? What is floating. What? Why are you... Why are you a floating foundation? Also, did not mean to activate my glide wings. Pick this one up, please. Can I get up here? No. I cannot. Okay. Let's do that. Um... I guess I can make a, a stone one, right? Yeah. For now, I just want to be able to, you know, get out of the water. Getting there. And up. Hey, I can stand. All right, and in the water, of course. Come on. Now, can I harvest any of the stuff down here for Oh, you come down with me if you're following. Okay. Can I harvest the seaweed for fiber? Because that'd be kind of cool. I can get berries. I can get fiber. Okay, cool. Oh, this is going to be difficult, though. Especially if I'm getting bumped around by my mount. And I still have like no oxygen gauge, which is odd. Alright, we're probably good for a second anyway on the fiber. Come on, where are you? There you are. Uh, let's go ahead and hop up here. And can make two more. I can make four more. Okay, cool. Here's a question. Yes. Okay. So it's a start. I mean, it's not the, the most glorious start ever, but it should be nice. Now, where am I on this map anyway? Just to the right of the crease. Northern portion. Okay. I actually explored quite a bit of the ice biome just running around. Alright, is a, a ramp a thing I can make? I can make a stone one. Okay, sure. Overkill, why not, right? Hey. 
Come here. No. I love it when the little, like, wheel gets stuck. Oh, for God. Come on. You're, like, there we go. It's, like, stuck partially in the foundation, so I couldn't, couldn't use the ride command, but could access inventory without a problem. All right, well, let's see what I can do with this now. All right. <clears throat> so we've got a, uh, a bit of an area set up. I got my, my food tray down. I made a pantry to store perishables in. Got a smithy going. Made myself a sickle. Got a bunch of fiber. 5,000 fiber now, so that'll help. Uh, wood is a bit of an issue right now, though. So one thing I'm thinking about is... Uh, yeah, right here. I need a lot of resources in order to make this. I need 20 polymer, though. Did I get enough? I have 10 organic polymer. Okay. So one thing I can definitely do is make a blood pack by accident. Okay. 15, 40, uh, 54. Okay. And tell you what, here. I can just go in there. I'm going to need the blood pack eventually anyway, so not a huge deal. But thinking I should probably head out to somewhere else. Hey, Lena. Hey. Hello. Can we uh can we talk about things? There we go. Ah, dang it. You are bouncier than a cat on crack. Come on. The hell did you go this time? There you are. Hey, got 300 hexagons for saying hello. Great. Um, would you? Ah. <laughs> oh. All right. What she needs to do is just like stay like on a cardinal direction of me at all times, like constantly to the north or something. Thank you. Uh, let's go to... Tell you what. Let's go try... Oh, dang it. Let's try the volcanic out. Uh, let's go Prepare east volcanic. Oh, nice. It's a different color for your different biomes. So I'll be able to find my stuff again without a problem, but I want to I want to check out a little bit more of this area too. I'm kind of curious to see what resources are in the volcanic biome. And also, it's the first time going here, so it's probably going to take yeah. a second. Oh no, that was a lot quicker. Well, kind of. Now we're stuck here in in null space. This would be quicker on a server, I know, but... Here we are, right on target. All right, so we got trikes and stegos right away. Awesome. Now, here's a question. What type of trees are you? Are you charcoal trees? No, you're regular trees. Okay, cool. One thing I was actually hoping for. All right. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's another 500, close to 500 wood. Okay, that's an avalanche. Thank you very much. Go see if we can find a glitch or something while we're over here. Well, I entered a mission area. Hello. Oh, there's obsidian on the ground. Okay. Awesome. There's quite a bit of obsidian in the ice area, though, too. 
That's a Kentro. That's a mission. Make sure that Kentro, okay, yeah. What do we got? The Summit Tour. Parasaurs wandering around the summit. Protect them from predators who want fresh meat. I hate escort missions. We'll do it later. <laughs> I'm stuck into a rock. There we go. One thing I am looking for, though, is a uh, crystal. Also, Arthros are, are not fun, so... Let's just uh, not engage that Arthro. Is that salt? Probably. It looks like salt. Oh, it's crystal. Thank you. You're awesome. My fault for not checking the surrounding area. There we go. I couldn't see my pick through all the blood, so... I pulled it out, then I put it away, and then I pulled it out again. Just like... But awesome. This is one of the things I need. Hey, burn mushrooms aren't bad either. Alright, was there... Like, anything like a mantis around here? That'd be kind of cool. Well, there's a glitch up here. It is one of the things I was looking for. That glitch was just a misplaced string. What's with my voice? It's stuck on sing. Um, let's pretend that never happened, shall we? Yeah, you said it there, Helena. There is another glitch up ahead here. Oh, hi. Uh, just kite. Okay. Which is not something I have a lot of, mind you. So. I just might. Did you feel a bit disjointed when you woke up in the simulation? That's normal. Your personality and your memories are stored in huge memory banks. And then they get combined with a physical body inside the Genesis simulation. Once that combination of mind and body happens, though, you're on your own. Well, you've got me, of course. That counts for something. All right. So, but she didn't explain what the glitch was. So, all right. Galleys, we got Ankylos, we got wonderful X trikes. I'm looking for something, though. First of all, I'm on top of, I'm actually on, like, the volcano, aren't I? Uh, it'll drop organic polymer when I eat it. Hello. Guandon egg. <laughs> and it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I just grabbed its egg right next to it, and it's like, no. All right. Look at that egg sankey. I do love the volcanic creatures. They're really cool looking, so. Well, that's a basilisk. No. Hey, cool, I got the scale, so. Um, okay, that was a storm drake over this way, wasn't it? It ran past me. And a rather decent level one, too, actually. Dead galley. I saw a pelt is cool. And yep. It's kinda cool coloration on the sword pelt actually. Entered another mission area. Let's get down into the flats though if I can. Mm, giant rib cage. This is like basically just oil, isn't it? But funny thing is, I'm pretty sure you can drink it. Oh, hey, there's another glitch. Oh, 
Oh, I ran through poison gas. That's not great. I ran through it, though. I'm not actually sitting in it, so I'm just waiting for the thing to go away. And I'm suffocating right now. Oh, no. I'm still in it. Oh, no. Okay. Bad times. Bad times. I'm gonna Watch die. Out, I died. Uh, it doesn't give you an X of where you died, though, huh? And it's just somewhere randomly in there, okay. And you can't. Right. That's the beauty of the Genesis simulation. You can always have another go. You know what? Let's just, uh... We're just gonna pitch all this stuff on the ground, I think. At least it's only an iguanodon right there. Uh, I'm heading towards that glitch because I think that's where I died at, but I'm not 100% certain. Well, that's some aloes over there. I love how I can run through like waist deep tar. It's bubbling nonetheless. Hey. What the heck? Oh, I got perlobiate. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're dead. Watch out, survivor. Hate those things. I was down in this corner. Actually, I was quite a ways away because I died over here. Maybe. I was right next to the border. Okay. Click the button. Come on. And it's like 11 o'clock at night, too. That's uh, hardly ideal. All right. Ruth, that was a tough one. Frick, same area. Okay. I just heard a thorny dragon behind me. Kidding me? Well, concentrate. <laughs> you got this. Uh, all right. Well, let's try again here now. Is it going to keep spawning me in the same area? Beauty of the Genesis Literally, simulation. yes. You can always have another go. All right. Well, any rocks I can pick up around here? Ah, uh, fiber. Fiber and berries. Okay. And there's a sore pelta. Oh, wait a second. That was a rock. There we go. Bounce. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Loves to spawn me in Southwest on this quadrant, anyway. Hey, Sorrel Pelta. He's there, friendly. That one's not. Oh, hi. Yeah. We're going this way for a while. 
Because I just woke up the basilisk, and why do I not, my stats not going down? Who it is? My stamina is bugged, though. Because I've been running forever, but like food and water go down. The heck? All right, well, I swear I only did, you know. Actually, oxygen has not been going down and stamina did a bit. Yes, it's flashing. Like it's, but it's like instantly refilling or something. What the heck is going on now? Yeah, you can see the glitches pretty well against the, the darker sky. Um. You know, actually, not the worst place to be heading. Okay, so Thorny Dragon Fight and some Ankylos. Good, I'll leave him to it. That I took fall damage from. Odd. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't go say hello to the, uh, the Magmasaurs, though. Also, kind of regretting coming to the, uh, the, the volcano area. It's a very beautiful place, so I love the aesthetics of it, but, uh... uh was this the path I went down earlier? No, I went further up this way first, okay. Oh, hey, Sorapelta. Were you the one I saw earlier? I hope so. It means I'm on the right path. All right, did I get any rocks on me this time? I did, okay. What I can make is a death helper. Channel open. Yeah, there we go. I'm heading the right direction. Stigma lock. They can get moody, just like Kentros can. They did. They got moody. Hi guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> Alright, um... That time the X showed up, though. It's pretty handy if it showed up the first time I died. Or after the first time I died. Bruce, that was a tough one! Yeah, I think so. I just got my butt handed to me by a bunch of herbivores. Oh, can't quite get up there? Okay. Oh, there's another one right there. Alright, I mean... Fine, this is your home. I know, I'm just passing through. I really should turn off the skins. There are a couple of my like, though, that... It's handy to have. Channel open. So yeah, steampunk helmet does not help against uh, poisonous gas. Bit of a shame there, but I mean, it can't do everything. Channel open. All right, so it's probably. This death point over here. I mean, the good news is it, it's Arc of Prime. That one's not going anywhere, so. I think I just jumped an ant. Yeah, my stamina is kind of bugged. It's weird, though. My stamina and oxygen are not going down. But I mean. Food, water's draining without a problem. Health is obviously going down. Huh. 
All right, and I am not good at parkour in this game. I'm just jug bug, making its displeasure with me known. I think I should stick to the ridge as long as I can. I am draining water quick, though. Whoop, okay. Hello, Thorny Dragon. I'm just going to stay on this side of the ridge. Okay, there's those aloes I saw that I was kind of worried about. All right. Am I close enough to be able to see the beacon yet? No. Okay. Okay, I can't see the aloes anymore, and I still see a lot of herbivores in the area, so I'm guessing the aloes went up against something they couldn't kill. It's amazing that I'm actually... There we go. Hanging on that well to that cliff face. Now let's see if I can avoid running into a freaking basilisk again. And I'm thirsty. Yeah. It's bound to happen. Oh, the aloes are still there. I just drank oil water. Alright. Let's not get stuck in the trees here. Alright, we're good for now. Probably this way. But yeah, it'll show me all my death points with a stealth helper. It's kind of handy, but if you've died a lot, it can be overwhelming. Was that the one that killed me? Probably. I just grabbed thatch off of something. Hey, there's my death point. All right. Lag spike, thanks. Good news, have not run into another basilisk yet. Oh, there's a Kentro there. Let's go around a bit. So RG, that's not ideal either. Kentro, don't get angry. All right. Something ate my body. I wonder if Arca Prime got hungry. All right. Well, we're in here now. That one is a bad glitch. That one is right next to this poison gas, so probably should not go too close to it. Oh, it's a skeleton, okay. Hey, I want revenge for earlier. I know it wasn't you, but it was one of your cousins. I think it's an oil rock right there. No, screw you, stigma lock. All right, yeah, let's get away from the poison gas, shall we? Oh, hey, that's where I died to the stigma locks. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, what's that on the ground? And then it got up and started moving. Righto, then, and... 
That little twiggy tree that looks like a bush is what was stopping me. Oh, hey, there's a magma sword down there. Also. There's a couple of buttheads. Hi. Okay, fine. Can I... Like, reach my... Bag through here? Yep. Awesome. Uh, that's an extra home days record I don't need. Fancy with that one. Alpha Ascension, nice. And I don't need the recipe of, you know, either there, so let's put that and that over since they do spoil. But one of my goals is actually to make a uh, an awesome teleporter pad, if I can. Because I would like a panic button home. Now, let's go do something else stupid. Track down a magma sword. Hey, Miguelani. Sweet toxin. I don't know if I need the toxin in this map, honestly. There's magma sword. It, like waded across the lava. I'm not going through the lava map, you dude. Oh, that's a nice high level. Hey. Everything dies. Right. Good now? We're safe? I think so. Magma's worn down quick, though. Must have been a low level one. I wasn't paying attention when I killed it. You got it! I got that string of code all untangled. It was an observation loop involving other survivors. The Genesis simulation spends a lot of bandwidth watching how much you go it alone and how much you team up with people. It's easy to think of a simulation as something that paleontologists and ecologists dreamed up, but I bet the sociologists and psychologists are having a field day with all the human interactions. Oh, no, maybe I've said too much. Sorry, invisible researchers! I do like Helena, but... Hey, it's a couple Rexes. Cool. Alright, and there's a mission point here. What do we got? Attacked. By Perlovia. Uh, one hell of a treasure hunt. Hmm. Oh, it looks like it cycles the list to whatever is closest to you. Retrieve the skull of an Alpha X trike from its volcanic stomping ground. Don't panic. There's just lava, or fire and lava everywhere. Okay. Something I'll worry about in the future. Um... Not too concerned about doing missions right this second. More just like exploring the general area and whatnot. But I need to probably head back to base here soon. And uh, get stuff together to start taming things. But hey, that's poison gas. I don't want to get too close. 132, Magma Sword. I don't know what they're fighting. It looks like they're like scrapping with each other there. So I'm just gonna leave them to it. And four. Okay. All right. So we have metal and obsidian. We got crystal here, which is awesome. I'm not seeing a lot of the organic polymer yielding animals around here though. Oh, Magnus horse fifth. Oh, it was a 336. Hmm. Oh, they were nomming on a, a, a dodic. A couple of them. Okay. All right. Well, phone call. So. Uh, they always come at great times. Hey, RG. Thank you. Downside of the Arc Monster, they don't really have that great, you know, hops. So. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like we're pretty good here. I'm gonna harvest up some resources while I'm here. And I'll, uh, I'll meet everybody back at base. So hopefully I've, uh, got some more stuff built on it. Well, ran out of wood again, but I've actually got space to work and everything now. It's kind of nice. Speaking of which, I've got myself a, uh, a food bait station. I made myself up some mutton. And... There's a bazilla source right down here. I still have no oxygen or stamina, like, decrease. I think I'm close to the world border. Hey, buddy. Hey, you hiding? Level 60, huh? Okay, well. I mean, not, like, the best, but... She'll tame up quick, which is a good thing. And she's very pretty. I mean, look at the colors on these. Even though the back does kind of look like a ladder. Yep, and they even have the little, little peg legs on the back. Little pig flippers. I wonder if an ichthyosaur is gonna take mutton bait. Alright, cool. I can now hand feed her. Should be a nice quick tame. Where did that ichthy go? Oh, right above me, huh? Hey! Do you like that stuff? Yeah, you do. 216. Nice. Hey. Hey. Come here. Come here. Hey. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, you're not quite hungry. Okay, there's the please or the uh, ichthyosaur. Please, sort will be interesting to try to tame right now, though. All right. All right, fine. Here. Rip. <laughs> Just stops in place, turns around. Good boy. Yeah, I thought its eyes were, like, huge. Oh, you want care? Okay. But it's got, like, reverse eyeshadow around its eyes. It's kind of weird where the, the smoke particles in the bazilla are not even on, the you know, the, the mammal. I almost said reptile. It's not. It's a proto-whale. It's even got barnacles. Oop. Like, the worst kind of pit stains. Alright, well that one's gonna be a bit... Hey, you. Hey, little ichthy. Come here. Oh. Come here. Dang it. Hey. Alright. And you want care again, too? And you're tamed. Alright. Where did the ichthyosaur go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Hey. Stick around. Alright, I think I should have enough stuff to make the basilosaurus saddle. You better not be, like, committing suicide up here. Yeah. Stay away from the surface. I know you're an air breather, but the surface really is not your friend. Although I've noticed a lot less dead ichthys. And tamed. Cool. I've noticed a lot less dead ichthys around here, like, namely zero. Coelacanths, though, on the other hand, they... I'll be doing something on my base and all of a sudden I'll just hear a scream at me. And just, yeah.
See if we can get some saddles made up here. Alright guys, quit following me now. Uh, let's see. Alright, go ahead and do that, Maiden. And I meant to click this, actually, but... Oh well. Uh, Prime Dart, I can't quite learn yet. Never learned the submarine statue, huh? That's odd. Hmm. A lot of the modded things don't. The uh, the Ingrams got unlearned. Weird. There's that. Copper gazebo base. Sure, why not? Okay, Bazilla Source Saddle, I already learned it. Smithy. So, yeah, I should be able to. Pull for one, please. Thank you. And then the Ichthyosaur Saddle. Yeah, made my inventory. That's actually pretty easy to make, honestly. Fiber, flint, hide, metal ore, and wood. So, you know, honestly, oh, it did. I just didn't see an update for some reason. All right. Hey, you, get a saddle. And you're already making oil, which is awesome. I always forget about that feature. And you get a saddle. All right. All right, first tames, nice. Yeah, let's get you some food. Let's just give the Bazilda Source regular meat, I guess, for now. Mm, thousand should work. Come here, sausage. I drifted past. Let's try that again. There we go. You've already got 12 levels. So you're up to 34k health. Now that's actually not bad. You level up pretty nicely. You, on the other hand, you get a point and a half per level. That's interesting. More than I would have, uh, you know, expected. You are kind of loud, though, aren't you? Now, Helena, say hello, and I get free hexagons. Good day, Savannah. Go ahead and go shopping too. Here's what I've got. Uh, yes. Want some green gems, please? I want to make some climbing pigs if I can. Uh, this is going to be... That's, I need 7,000 hexagons worth of electronics to make a uh, teleport pad. Rather not. I'm almost to the point where I can get my first loot crate, though. Yeah, that's not bad. But uh, I need some minting paste as well. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's, Let's do this again. again. Order and pestle here. Order and pestle really. The T is usually silent. Honestly, I just for some reason I keep pronouncing it. All right, and let's put you away. There's a backup pick in case something happens. Let's get that there, and we'll just. We'll chuck that out. And that's still put away. And that's actually a good place for this to live. Then pop it out, do that, and pop all this back in. But I need to see what's happened to my oxygen and stamina, because that is broke as hell. I can run forever and extend your water without a tank. Something going on there. I wonder if it's like a mod interaction or something. Alright, uh, do I have my pickup gun on me? I do. Thank you. 
because I'm going to move this over here to the table with the, the other stuff. Awesome. It's feeling more like home already. I mean, nice, pleasant weather, beautiful view, all the water I could possibly want. Got a pantry full of meat, and I've got a bunch more cooking up in here, actually. Hey, life is good so far. Cooking up metal. Yeah, everything's working, working great so far. Only downside is make these swords a little noisier than I thought it would be. Procoptodon saddles. I got three Procoptodon saddles for doing that one. That scavenger hunt kind of thing. Hmm. So let's look again. What do I need to make the teleporter? I need 20 cementing paste and 50 electronics. Okay. Cementing paste, I should be able to make actually some of it. Yeah, I've got a lot of. Got a lot of keratin. I can make 50 of it. Okay, cool. That's more than enough. And then I just need electronics, which there are two options, right? One is I can buy it from Helena. The other one is we can go to the lunar biome. I think next episode we're going to go to the Lunar Biome. It's uh, crawling with tech creatures, so that would be a good, really good place to get electronics and scrap metal. Element dust, which, meh, it's whatever. All that fun stuff. Uh, let's look at our missions real quick here before I end off. What is the closest mission? Echo of a classic. Keep Ico the dolphin safe as he uses echo location to find a far off voice across the sea. I played that game back in the Sega Genesis. That was an amazing game. I loved it. Chasing the White Whale. Follow the checkpoints to your target at White Leads Ictus. You might need more than just a harpoon. I want better... Most of these I'm going to want better underwater tame, so... Mosa Proposal. <laughs> Track down a vicious Mosa. The Teeth Underneath. Retrieve teeth from a school of toothy megalodons and escape before you become someone, something's next meal. Locked and loaded. Depths for ravenous plesiosaur. The monster isn't just a myth. Uh, who hid the squid? Tuso search. Okay. Hide and sink. Tour the beauty of the reefs and avoid the predators as Achelani takes you in, in and out of the water to find hidden points. Wave ray sixty four. Make all the right sea dues and sea don'ts in this race above and below the waves. The race has no margin for error. Rip it, roll it, and punch it. Protect a group of sea turtles as they travel through this dangerous section of their migration towards the east of Genesis Current. Bottomless Blitz. All those prints to use fastest. Cyclones and reefs block the way. Classic. This is a classic. This is Bottomless Blitz. Okay. One Tough Motor. Actually, it's pronounced Mooter, I guess. It's Dutch for mother. Is the spelling and everything. Which makes even more sense for the, the name of the quest here. And this is the boss. Also, there's 29 more ocean glitches to find. All right, so I've gotten one quest done in the Arctic biome, or mission. Found a few glitches in the three biomes I've been in. But, uh, and I got a bit of a base setup, which is awesome. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, the sign signing out, have fun.